Now let's talk about some things that are not necessarily unique to Bonanzas, but happen often with the type. Because they are retractable gear aircraft, uh, it seems to, to still be, you know, it's, I think it's about once a week uh, GA fleet-wide, less than that within the, the Beechcraft community, obviously, but landing gear up, there's that old expression, there are those who have and those who will. You contend that there are those who won't. Who are those people? Well, the people that are those who won't are the ones that have learned the lessons from the experience of others. And actually, there are, on average, three to five gear-related mishaps every week in the United States. By definition, gear mishaps are not reportable to the NTSB. Uh, if you look at NTSB 830, you'll read that it says you have to report an accident if this happens, except if the damage is limited to flaps, propellers, gear, the, all of the things that it lists. It doesn't say we don't want to hear about a gear up landing, but the reality is the list of things that are the exception to the reporting rule are those things that happen in a gear up mishap. I've been studying uh, the landing gear mishap record for 10 years now, uh, vastly predates uh, my ABS experience and even my weekly flying lessons newsletter, but I have done a weekly study of Beechcraft mishaps for 10 years now through my own personal website, which is thomaspturner.net. In about 2006 and 2007, pretty dismayed with the, the Beechcraft gear mishap record, I wanted to see how it compared to other makes and models of airplanes because there's always the uh, the speculation that it, the gear handles in a different location in a lot of the airplanes. And what I found is that the record for the beach airplanes is not unusual at all. And there are actually certain makes and models of airplanes, uh, Cessna 210s for instance, where there seems to be a higher rate of gear-related mishap. Uh, there are some reasons, I think, for that. Uh, it's not related to the airplane itself. I think it's pilot training. If you, tr if you learn to fly in a 172 and you move into a Mooney or a Bonanza or something else like that, there is a perception that uh, amongst most pilots that I, I need to make a serious effort at becoming checked out in that airplane. If you move up within the same model, range and the only thing that really changes is the retractable landing gear potentially someone might take the uh, the transition process just a little bit less rigorously I know my personal introduction to retractable gear airplanes was in the early 1980s in a, into a Cessna 210 for flying 182s fixed gear 182s and at that time the standard checkout was what three times around the pattern that was the standard RG checkout. That is not nearly enough time to establish the different habit patterns that are required to extend the landing gear when necessary, confirm that it's down, and detect any abnormality. But in my, my 10 years of study and then those, the, those two years of study across the, the entire retractable gear fleet, I found that you can identify 10 specific types of scenarios that very commonly are a part of a gear up or a gear collapse mishap. So what I've tried to do is through my newsletter, through a, a, a DVD that I produce on avoiding gear mishaps, I try to point out those 10 situations that most commonly are uh, factors in gear mishaps and then 10 tips for pilots to follow to avoid repeating that gear mishap history. Well, Tom, we appreciate your expertise and your spending some time, and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much, Paul. I appreciate you being here. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect including the Cirrus Airframe Parachute System. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.